Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to chapter 3.3 .3 of your monthly Corellia side quest that is going to be Legacies. And this is all about your mutant champions, your mercenary champions and also your guardians of galaxy. So whenever you will bring in any of those champions, you will gain tactical edge and when you will parry the opponent, there will be a bleed applied on it that will prevent any unstoppable. But remember, there is going to be Crimson Rage, so every 8 seconds the, December, the defender will gain an unstoppable buff for 4 seconds, unless they are already having a bleed debuff. So, Mutant Champions or Guardians of Galaxy or Mercery who have easy access to bleeds will work really well here. So you can bypass the unstoppable and you can get those short temper charges on you that will increase your damage by 30% and you can have 10 of them in one fight. So that will increase your damage and you can finish off the uh, fights very quick. The boss is going to be a Hulkling, more on him later in the video. The path we're going to attempt is going to start with Dark Hawk and is going to end with Saucer Supreme. A few of the difficult fights are also mentioned, so let's jump into the path guys. But before we do, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel and turn on the sports notifications. All of that really helped me out a lot and helped me grow the channel. Now the first fight is going to be against the Night Thresher. I'm just going to use an Apocalypse here. And every time I inflict a bleed, I will get that charge on me, increasing my damage. So with the short temper by 30% and I will wait for 10 of those charges that the maximum I can get. So my damage will be up by 300% and then I can just throw specials. Now because Apocalypse has a built in bleed as well. So the unstoppable from Crimson Rage, I don't need to worry about that. And I should be easily able to take him out. So champions like Apocalypse, champions like uh, uh, Deadpool DPX or you also somebody like Wolverine will work really well here so bring out those mutants also work mercenary also work so pretty easy and straightforward path so I hope you can get through it you can check out the whole path as well and I'll see you at the boss fight
The boss is going to be an Hulkling with stress test, escalating peers, feet of vigilance and 100% plus attack. Now he is going to have a lot of buffs so the easiest way to deal with him is to bring in champions that can either take advantage of all of those buffs and can do damage or somebody like Ronan who can cheese him off with the permanent stun. Now my first option is going to be a morning star very easy just simply build up to an sp2 and if you're running mystic dispersion you should be able to get back an sp2 as soon as you throw one and you can let it rip but just remember to keep an eye on the feet of indestructible uh, feet of vigilance and also the indestructible charge that he gets once that is out then you can throw your sp2 next one is going to be a black widow clairvoyant so you can use the sp2 with the buff immunity so you can remove all the buffs and you can all that will help you minimize the threat potential from hulkling and should be an easy fight from then on then your cheese is going to be a ronin that you can use just slowly build up to almost two bars or two bars of power and then throw sp1 and then you can just do the cycle till the end of it until he dies and the final option I've used is going to be a Symbiote Supreme purely because you can stagger and remove all of those buffs and then the bleeds can take over with that big SP2 damage. Now remember if you're going to use any Mystic Champion, any champion that uh, has any kind of power control or power burn, that is not going to work on Hulkling so champions like Doom will not be the best one. Also Magic, you can do the power log but you cannot do the power drain so just be wary about that, remember that one. But with the SP3 and Magic you should be able to do some huge damage. So again do not use any champions that require you to have any power control and you should be good. Mordo is also a good example here that you can use with an SP2 soul bulb. So I hope this guys, uh, I hope this helps you guys and it helps you clear Hulkling. Next one will be chapter 3.2 with Wiccan. So stay tuned for that guys and I hope you all have an amazing day and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.